Welcome back to the channel. Today, I just want to make a small little video on Chocobo GP. I won't be covering this much on my channel unless people really love it. Um, but I do want to just show off the microtransaction store because if people are interested in this game and you don't know what to expect, this may help you, you know, decide on what you want to do. From what I can see so far, you have a story mode to unlock loads of characters and you have uh, Chocobo as your starting character. You know, there's multiple things you can do, multiplayer, Chocobo GP, etc, etc. You can even make custom races. So from off the bat, it looks like there's quite a few things to do in this kind of Mario Kart-esque game, um, but with Final Fantasy characters and Final Fantasy settings. But it's the shop that I'm worried about. It's very reminiscent of mobile gaming um, and specifically Final Fantasy games that are mobile gaming. So you can see at the top, you've got basically four different currencies. You've got a gill, which I assume is when you're in game and you win races and stuff. So you can get gill from playing the game to be able to get stuff from the store. Then you've got mithril, which I have 850 of. You get 800 off the bat when you log in at the moment. Maybe it's like a small little special offer or something. Tickets, I don't know how to get yet. And that last one, I also don't know how to get. I don't even know what it is. So let's go to the shop anyway, and we can discuss it a little bit more. First and foremost, the UI of the shop is not particularly great um but you can you know get different colors for your carts and, and and your characters and stuff so that that's just a basic thing um this is the ticket shop specifically you can get stickers to throw on your cars and customize too so you know just a little few things there that you can get in the guild shop pretty much the same you know you can unlock squall cars colors you know more stickers and whatever these are our oh, backgrounds so your characters so if this is in-game money then that's great you know what i mean um but then we have the mithril shop and this is your real life money and what you spend money on so you know you have season passes unfortunately unless that is the season pass in its entirety there there's eight slots it doesn't really tell you anything else that comes from the season pass so as far as i can tell i can't inspect all of it and see everything that you get um i'm assuming then that those eight eight things there are what you get <laughs> which is a, a little bit disappointing i suppose um especially for the price you can buy level up tickets to level up your season pass um and then there's going to just be other things that you can get stickers and what seems like music and outfits and stuff um <laughs> you know just your kind of typical typical thing and then you can purchase mithril so we're going to go to the nintendo eShop over here so I already have 800 clear, so I need 1600 to get that advanced um, battle pass, the 2400 one. At the moment, you can get a special offer of £6.49, which is probably around about $8, $9. Um, so that's fine. You know, I'm willing to pay that much to get the, the, the cloud season pass. But if you didn't have that special offer, how much would it cost you? So you can't buy less than a thousand. So you buy a thousand for £8, which is like $10, $11. You'd have to buy two of them to be able to get the 1600 available to be able to buy the season pass. If you didn't have the 800 given to you, you'd have to buy 22 pounds worth, which is probably about 25, 26 dollars. Um, so the prices aren't great, but they're not the worst I've ever seen, sp specifically for a game on Nintendo as well. Nintendo are kind of always keeping their prices as high as possible for a lot of things. It's it's a known thing for Nintendo. Um, so I'm not entirely mad about the prices you have to pay if you want to invest real life money. For what you seemingly get on this season pass, I don't think it would be worth it. Other than the fact that it's cloud and if you love Final Fantasy, which most people probably will to buy this game, they're going to spend some money on this because it's cloud. Um, and I think that's kind of the reason why they did it. <laughs> So I just bought the season pass or the prize pass. Luckily, I um, had a lot of points attached to my Nintendo account, so I didn't have to actually pay for it. My points covered it. Okay, so I obtained all these rewards already. So is it just like off the bat? Oh no, because it's giving me 60, 60 levels on the season pass. Okay, so it must be that you get the season pass for the 800 or you can buy this one and get a whole bunch more stuff and extra levels. So, you know, I got quite a lot of gill by the looks of it. <coughs> Um, I'm not sure like oh wallpaper of squall okay that's fine okay so with all this gear I could probably end up buying squall as well so you know if you're invested in the game and characters and the Final Fantasy world you know it's not it's not an awful thing to buy I reckon you know let's see so I got cloud unlocked as well okay okay so then let's go to the gill shop 
And how much have I got? I got 8,900, so I can't buy the cars yet, but I can buy Squall himself, so I'm going to do that. So I got 5,900 left. I can't afford really pretty much any of any of the cars. Wait, what's the difference between these two? <laughs> like, they're exactly the same. Um, and then you get colors and stuff. But I'm not going to waste my coins at the moment. I'm going to play the game, see how much I get per win. You know, so I can kind of think about exactly what I would want to spend my money on.